what we're going to show you is an activity that you can do in the classroom before you go to the gym or the gymnasium or any physical activity environment. With us again, of course, is Champion Dylan. Dylan, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Say hi to everyone out there. Hi, everyone. And, of course, Coach Ashley. And as I was mentioning, we want to start sometimes in the classroom to do activities because the gym can be very unsensory friendly and truly probably is one of the most unsensory friendly environments in the school. Think about all the bright lights. Sometimes there's a flicker in that light which would could cause major distress and distraction for our children or adults. Um, also, sound, the echoing, all these things are some things that we may never experience or understand, but these are things that we're learning through individuals like Rachel, who's been on to share her experiences, and all the, the time that we've spent with these kids. And the activity we're just going to show you is one of Dylan's favorite, which is... Soccer. Right, soccer. And what are you and Coach Ashley going to do? All right. Coach Ashley, do you want to just take them through how you would set it up in a classroom? Absolutely. So in a classroom, um, we use the visual supports as well, so they know exactly what direction uh, they're going to be kicking the ball in. Uh, and we'd actually color code as well, um, a red ball, blue ball, and yellow ball. Uh, so depending on uh, the level at which a student is at, um, to keep their engagement and to keep them motivated, um, color is also one of our, our motivating uh, factors in exercise. So we have a red ball, blue ball, and yellow ball. So I'll actually put them in front of Dylan. All right. Ready? Dylan, we're going to listen. All right. Can you kick the red ball? Woohoo! Nice job, All right. Dylan. Ready? Okay, let's go back to our feet. Ready? Can you kick the blue ball? With a stretch of a man. Nice job, Dylan. And what's the last ball that you're going to kick? Yellow. Can you kick the yellow ball? Show. Thank you so much. Oh. Very good. So doing that is, is really a good way to, like you said, to educate children on, on their colors and, and if they're trying to learn it. So, and that's what we're seeing through research is learning through moving. And again, now, Let's do it again. Which foot did you kick with? His right foot? He kicked with his right foot. All right. Foot. So now, Dylan, do you know which one your left foot is? What is that? Left. Very good. And let's, how about we kick with our left foot? Can you stand on your feet? Stop. All right, Coach Ashley, take him through it again with his left foot. Left foot. Ready? Can you kick the yellow ball? Nice job. Good job. Good listening. Can you kick with your left foot the red ball? And what's the last color ball you're going to kick? What color was blue. it? Oh, blue. Can you kick the blue ball with your left foot? Thanks, Dylan. Nice job. Well done. Nice job, buddy. So again, we've said this in other series and other segments, is if you do something with their dominant side, challenge them on their non-dominant side. If you do something forward, backwards. That was excellent. Dylan, are you tired? Help, help, help. Do we, do we work you out too much? And remember, always use any type of visual supports. In all the series and all the shows that you've been watching, um, we're using different types of supports. So whatever works best for your student. If there's something that we haven't shown you, or there's something that you're doing with your students that's a different structure, different visual, different activities, share it with us. Share it with us at the Exercise Connection. Share it with everyone at NICPAD. We want you to become better educators, but we also need your support. Every child with autism and are, are different. They're all unique, I should say, unique in their own creative way. So there may be something that you're doing that we haven't shown you, but share it with us. But don't forget, always challenge autism with exercise. Can we say goodbye to everyone out there? Goodbye. Goodbye.